Hello, hello, sweethearts. Hey, my beloved, beautiful people. Tanika Maria here. And all of this month and over the next few weeks, I am going to be sharing excerpts and teachings from my book, A Woman's Journey Home, 14 Keys to Ascending to the Next Dimension. I am a certified Christian life coach, and I am all about helping you to walk with wisdom, wholeness, peace, and clarity. What worked when you were 35 years old will not work when you're in your 40s and when, when you're in your 50s. I am about helping high-achieving women of faith overcome life transitions and pivots and do it wisely and with grace. This includes relationship transitions, job transitions, personal transitions. Whatever transition you're going on that's going on in your life right now, I'm the one that you need to speak with. And so this particular series that I'm doing is coming straight from my book, A Woman's Journey Home. Because see, as we come to the close of this, this year, we only have, you know, like three months left, really practically in 2022. And it's time to clean house. It's time to evaluate. It's time to see where we are going. And we are so busy and dizzy. So much fast movement, so much distraction. The distraction is off the chain right now. And if you're easily distracted, if you don't know how to hone in and focus, you will look around and we'll be at December 31st, 2022. And you will look back and realize I wasn't as fruitful as I intended to be at the beginning of the year. And I'm not just talking about your business or your ministry or whatever goals you had, but we're talking on the inside because all fruitfulness comes from the inside. It's an inside job of rewiring our minds, healing our emotions, healing our hearts and souls. I can't do anything in my business. I can't do anything in my ministry if my mind is tore up, if my emotions are jacked, if I'm feeling some kind of way, if I'm sick in my body, if I'm constipated, come on, if I'm constipated on backed up emotions and unprocessed feelings, how is that going to help me move forward? How is that going to help me in what I'm, God is calling me to do? And so this is the journey home to ourselves. It is the journey home to God. And so I am going to be sharing for the next few weeks, straight from my book, A Woman's Journey Home, 14 Keys to Ascending to the Next Dimension. And first of all, we got to deal with matters of the heart. Before I can sit here and analyze my numbers, before I can sit here and look at my Instagram count and followers and likes and shares and sales and stuff and this, that, and the third, let me look at my heart. Before I can look at my ministry results, before I can look at my relationship, before I can look at what's going on in my life and my children, my body and my health, let us start with the heart. So I'm starting with chapter two in this book, and we're going to be just doing little brief um, teachings from it every week. So I want you to stay tuned and connect it for when I drop these videos. Home is where the heart is. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. That is Proverbs 4.23. We're talking about your center point. We're talking about the seat of your mind, your will, and your emotions. And I'm not talking about a physical relationship physical location, but rather a position in the spirit. I'm talking about the spiritual posture of your heart, coming home to God and coming to your home to yourself. And that means facing certain truths. It requires making a turn. It requires looking at ourselves. And for me to, for us to really come home and unpack and look at ourselves as we come into these last few months of 2022, we can't come up higher to a higher position. We can't elevate and, you know, we're all acceleration, accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. Well, before you can accelerate, you got to get your grounded. Before you can take off, you got to get stable. Before you can take to the next level, you got to get really grounded and get some traction and some truth with where you are right now. So first of all, and this is really important if you've been out of alignment, if you find yourself out of alignment, here we are in October, are you out of alignment? So the first thing that we want to do is, let me ask this question. Similar to you, and I'm reading from the book, 
Similar to your physical house or home, your emotional home needs daily cleaning and maintenance for comfort, safety, and rest. Just like your house, that apartment that you're living in, your house, your home, you need to clean it and keep it up in order to be comfortable there, in order to rest, and for it to be safe. Your heart has to be clean the same way. We got to keep our heart clean so that we can be comfortable. Others can be comfortable around us so that we can have some soul level rest and so that we're safe for ourselves and safe for other people. So let me ask you this question. How do you feel when your home is out of order and messy? How do you feel when you've been gone too long and you've been busting around being all busy doing this and that and clutter and trash and things pile up? How do you feel? How does that make you feel, right? What happens when you go too long without putting stuff away and cleaning up and stuff starts getting messy and things start piling up? And I know for me personally, if I get too preoccupied being with all of my activities and my house will get messy or then I get too tired to clean it up, come on, we, we get too fatigued and too tired to clean it up, I suffer the consequences. I don't know about you, but I suffer the consequences. I am not able to fully rest and enjoy my home when it's out of order. I can't fully rest and enjoy my inner being if something is out of order. Because what, 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 what does that feel like? It feels like chaos. It feels like anxiety on the inside. As it is in the outer, so it is in the spirit. I feel unsettled, scattered, and distracted when the energy of my home is not right. And I've gone too long without getting things in order. As it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. When you fail, and I'm reading from the book here, A Woman's Journey Home. You can check it out, the link in my bio and grab you a copy and come along with me in this journey, right? As it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. When you fail to heal and order on the inside in your soul daily, emotional baggage such as unprocessed pain, daily offenses, negativity, and fear would just simply pile up. If we go too long in this state without taking the time with God, to unpack and heal with him, we can become spiritually and emotionally unclean. Mm -mm -mm. And then guess what we try to do? We will attempt to serve our families and minister to people from this unkept and scattered emotional place. It causes us to not be fully present in the moment by attempting to numb our pain and issues with more business and more distractions, more bright new shiny objects, more new and novel Instagram tips and tricks, more new and novel this and new and novel that. Come on, we will wind up fretless, joyless, lacking peace, full of overwhelm, impatience and anxiety. And this is what happens when the home of the heart our emotional and spiritual base becomes unclean and out of alignment. This is what it looks like when we don't clean, heal, and order on the inside and take that time to sit and process with God. This is, start doing this now. Here we are. It's the beginning of October. Let's start this process now. Don't wait until December 31st. We're go I'm going to walk you through. We're going to go right through this book and we're going to talk about, okay, what do I need to do to begin this process so that by the time we get to December 31st, we're already ready. We've unpacked some stuff. We've processed some stuff. Yes, this is what it's all about. So I want you to stay tuned and connected with me on my next video where we're going to talk about choking down the truth. We're going to talk about facing some truths, the good truth and the not so good truth. But it's all a part of that process of your journey home, the journey home to yourself, the journey home to God. And we got to get our hearts right. We got to get our hearts and our minds right before we jump on a new, shiny, big idea. I'm talking to that high achieving woman of faith. I'm talking to the woman who deeply desires and craves peace, who deeply desires and craves wisdom for the next level of her journey. This is for you. So stay tuned and let's walk in this journey together.